Hi friends, in this tutorial we will learn how to do a CRUD operation in ASP.NET MVC 5. So for this, so we will create a database or if we are having database we will select this. So here we are having database called techdb. So in this we are having two tables, a student table and user table. So we will do thread operation in a student table. As you can see here, we are having two records. Okay, columns, a student ID, a student name, and marks. So we will add these things in our project with the help of entity framework. So with this we required a solution. So we will create a new project. here select asp.net web application.net framework in c sharp as you can see here then click next give some meaningful name cradx then create select mvc as you can see mvc will be by default selected so select this or else you can select these options also if you want so we are creating MVC application that's why we are selecting this MVC then click create it will take some time to create a solution so our solution is created as you can see we are having this folder structure so what we will do we will add model add a new item directly select ado.net entity data model or else you can go new item it will be in your data select this data and select this ado.net entity data model and give some meaningful name here entity model then click on add select code first code first from database so we are doing code first from database so select this and create next then new database so database name we will take from this copy then paste so this is the local database so we are manipulating this tech db so select this and test connection is succeeded ok then ok then click on ok so it will generate a connection string in our web.config file here so here we will add db context class name so entities we will give or else db entities for better understanding so here we will take our table student so we are doing in a student table that's why we are selecting student then finish So as you can see our db context class created with the name of db entities. So here we are having one student table. So what we will do? We will build this application. So our application is perfect right now. So what we will do? We will add controller. Right click on controller then add controller. So we will select this mvc5 controller with views using entity framework. So we are having already entity framework so click on add then select student class and then model use async if this is the optional you if you want to select you can select or else you can skip so this is the mvc5 application so by default it will it is showing use async controller action so this is not required right now so we will uncheck this layout page and we will give some meaningful name or else we can go for this also click on add now it is scaffolding it will generate all the methods which are in our student controller as well as it will create views also as you can see it is created a controller with our entity model so as you can see it is created a object of db with this it is calling list a student list as well as details with the help of id and uh, 
create also as you can see create post this is this is edit get and this is post and this is delete get and this is delete post so we are having almost all the data which we will cover as you can see here a student views also there in this folder we are having create delete details edit index so as you can see i will show you index edit details delete create so what we will do we will run this application then we will we can able to create a crud operation this is very simple easy uh, if you if you don't have uh, like uh, much time you can do like this it will generate all the methods whatever you want like in crud operation as you can see we are having by default one home controller so what it will do it will show this home controller index index page so this is the home index page so what we will do we are having a student controller students controller index we want to go to index page so as you can see it gets all the student records whatever inside of this table so here it is showing same thing so in this we will create insert update delete so as you can see in single page we are having crud operation so here we are going to create new page you click on create new that link will go to the student create page so here we will add technology technology formal marks is 400 something then click on create so as you can see it is created we can edit also so we are giving 900 here then it is showing 900 details you can go to details also back details edit so ev everything you can do over here so we can see here by executing this so as you can see this one more record added technology former 900 so with this we achieve crud operation so we can delete also here example delete it is showing are you sure you want to delete this yes delete then it is going here we are having three records if we are executing this only two records we are having so this is the crud operation now if you understood how to create a crud operation then simply share with your friends and subscribe our channel thank you